right, so it's day 61 of going through my old journal. And the quote for today was, you can cut all the flowers, but you cannot keep spring from coming. And then it says, does the quote above speak to the inevitable? What things in your life do you feel are inevitable? So again, if you're following along, just pause the video and um, take a minute to think about how you might respond to this prompt. And I'll be back here in a second with what I wrote. Okay, so yesterday I had my cat interrupt at my door. Today I've got three cats in my room, so we'll see how this goes, but okay. You can cut all the flowers, you can't keep spring from coming. Then it talks about what things in life are inevitable. I said, I mean, I suppose the only thing that's truly inevitable is aging and death. As far as, as far as I know, no one has figured out how to change time or figure out a way to keep someone functionally alive indefinitely. I can't really think of anything else. Even the changing of the seasons, maybe cutting all the flowers won't keep it from coming, but something else might. When I initially read the quote, the first thing I thought was cutting toxic people or things out of my life. I guess the word cut brings that to mind. Yeah, I think at that time when I wrote this, it was when I had already cut my dad out. Like, I went no contact in 2012, pretty much. Um, and he was really the only one. But then it's been more recently, like around this time, it was really recent that I really started to cut a lot of other people out of my life. So maybe that's why just seeing the word cut brought that up to me. Um... And I guess like too, like with the people that I've cut out of my life, like just because you've cut people out of your life doesn't mean they won't like spring up from time to time. That's been the case with my dad, like just like a week ago, I got a Facebook request from him. He's made multiple Facebook pages, um, not just to try to reach out to me, but just cause of how he is. But, um, but yeah, and same with my mom, like, there's always like the worry in the back of my mind that something will come up with her. Um, but yeah, let's see. I said, da, da, da. so I talked about how the word cut brought, you know, that to mind, cutting people out of my life. I said in that sense, I'm a bit torn. Like, I feel like there are so many bad people out there, many of them unintentionally bad that many people would be better off cutting most people out of their lives. Like, I think overall it's been a good thing for me, especially at this point in my life, but what if I'm missing out on meeting some great people and having good experiences? What if there comes a time when I need someone but have no one to turn to because I've closed myself off? I wish the, qu the quote were true if I cut out all the people in my life, will spring still keep coming? Oh, I see. Yeah. So yeah, I think I went down like a, a path that maybe like most other people wouldn't go with this just because of kind of like what was going on in my life. And I wonder, I said this like multiple times, like I wish that I would have dated um, the dates whenever I responded to these because I don't really remember. I have like a general idea. Um, and I wish, I kind of wish I would have, um, had a separate journal that kind of tracked like what I was, you know, cause these you're responding to prompts, but then, you know, had an actual journal of like what I was going through in my life whenever I wrote these because um, it sounds like you know I said you know I've cut people out and that gives me peace from like not having to deal with the drama of some other people um, but then also 
there's kind of that fear of like if I'm alone and I don't have anyone to turn to like that kind of sucks too and so maybe this was a time that I was like feeling alone like I didn't have anybody to turn to but there is something like I felt like at those times when I was really alone and something I mean I've never really had anything too catastrophic happen but like something happened that I couldn't handle myself and I had to like go out of my comfort zone and like call someone for help like thankfully I have the money to pay for you know things to be done for me that you know normally like a husband or boyfriend or family members would take care of for me but I thankfully have the money like oh I wonder if this is the time there was a time in February where we had like this really cold snap and uh, my pipes froze and I went without water for like three days and you know I was just like oh my gosh I'm here alone I don't have water you know what if the electricity goes out like I don't know how to build a fire like but then it was kind of like those times that I had to like think and problem solve and I looked up a bunch of videos on my pipes freezing and what to do and I um you know I don't like to make phone calls like I've got to be there's certain times it seems like where I'll have like a couple of days where I'm like I can get a bunch of stuff done like in terms of like emailing people back calling people you know I it's like I have more social battery to be able to do things like that and um that kind of like pushed me to have to do it like I don't know I was scared to call a plumber because I'm like what do I say like how much is this gonna cost and you know all that and I mean the plumbers were overwhelmed because so many people had busted pipes and things like that that they were just basically like well you know um they told me you know just keep my faucets open uh in case they do unfreeze and hopefully you'll be okay and you know, so I was just really stressed about it for like a day, just being alone, having to deal with that. And, um, but I figured it out and eventually I just said, you know what, there's nothing I can do about it. I shouldn't stress about it. Cause I'm not going to know either the plumber's going to come and fix it whenever they get time, which could be like a day or two, or, um, it'll just work out on its own, but there's no point in worrying about it. And so I did. And there was like other things like there was a time that I felt alone and my car was getting older. I had high mileage on my car. And so I was worried, like, what if I, um, what if my car breaks down? Cause it's at some point <laughs> my car is going to be so old and something's going to happen that it could break down. I could get a flat tire. I could, um, you know, whatever, get in a wreck, you know? And then I was like, okay, well, let me, since this is something I'm worried about, something that could happen, I got like triple A. <laughs> and then that made me feel a little bit better because I was like, you know, if something does happen, I have this and I can rely on triple A to do what I need. Whereas in the past when my grandfather was alive, he was a mechanic. And so he took care of all my car stuff. If something happened, you know, he would help me out or take care of it. But, you know, it's just, little things like that, that I've had to try to figure out like, okay, well, if I'm alone, who do I call or what am I going to do if the situation comes up? So I do get worried about those kinds of situations when I don't have anyone. Like right now I have my roommate and that makes me feel a lot more secure. Um, but I may not always have him. I may not always have someone. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is like, I do question, you know, is it worth it to have relationships that may be kind of stressful for someone like me to have for kind of like that peace of mind that if something does happen, at least I have a support system. But then on the other hand, I guess, in my opinion, it's been so much work for me to maintain relationships that I feel like it's it's not worth it for these like hypothetical situations that could come up, I guess. So 
I don't know that that even goes along with the quote, but that's, that's where I went with this one. So that's my reply. Um, I don't know. What did you think was your response? Something like totally different from what I, from what I had, or did you come up with something similar? I don't know, but I'll be back with tomorrow with day 62.